I don't know if you noticed, but we've got no engine. After over a year uh, of tearing everything down, uh, removing engine, transmission, axles, suspension, pretty much every single bit on a car, the time has come to drop the engine back in. Some of you might know, previously I've uh, installed the refreshed uh, suspension front and back. I've got a uh, C-ring, some of the wiring done and today we gonna drop my rebuild. The 305 engine back into my 86 third gen Chevy Camaro. At this point I don't know if I'm more excited or nervous about it. I guess I don't know what to say so I guess without saying anything more let's just begin.
is in. The engine is in now. Dropping the engine down was fairly easy. Um, however, we came across quite a few issues. Um, and despite my best effort, I just wasn't able to start the engine. Last year, there was an issue with a, a, a distributor. So I bought a new one. I bought a new one from Summit Racing. But uh, I'm not sure. It just doesn't give me a spark. The, the power goes in. It's all fine, but it just doesn't give me uh, it doesn't give me any sparks. I'm not sure if um, I've made a mistake while putting anything uh, back together, or uh, is the part itself faulty? That's problem number one. Problem number two is the water pump. Again, there was an issue with a uh, with a water pump last year, um, so I've stripped it down. I've checked it, and it was all fine. But it's still it's still leaking at the moment, so it's still losing water. So I'm not sure if uh, if the pump is faulty or is it just a weep hole and it will stop after a while. Uh, if you've got any idea, let me know. To be honest, the complete engine is in, the gearbox is in. Oh, that's another thing. The the gearbox, <laughs> I filled it up uh, gearbox with the uh, trans well or the transmission with a with a transmission oil, and um, I completely um, forgot to close the uh, output side of the box of the transmission so i've ended up spilling a massive amount of oil on the floor or just underneath the gearbox um so yeah that was a bit of a mess um i've got a brand new radiator uh some of the hoses are new the overfill tank which is this one here that's something that i bought on uh, amazon I can't remember I can't remember how much that was exactly but it wasn't it wasn't really expensive um, so the idea behind it is I'm gonna hide it uh, probably somewhere in that area once the bumper the front bumper is in because I'm aiming for uh, a clean engine bay look so as much as I'm gonna be able I'm just gonna clean all of the wiring and hide it somewhere bit of a disappointment that I wasn't able to start the engine uh but it's one of them you know project cars uh, you guys know for sure not everything goes according to the plan but we've managed to drop the engine without any uh, major scratches or dents or anything like that uh, so i'm quite happy hopefully i'm gonna be able to work out spark issue pretty soon and from there i can just move on and start putting everything else back together uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.